the things I really like about NWA Power. The old school feel, that TV studio type of feel, emphasis on characters and talking. You know, it's not just about the moves in the matches. It's about those other things that make the moves in the matches matter. They care about this. They understand this and they do this. Also, it's less than an hour. So if there's a week that's not very good, it's not going to last very long. Now, with it being a show that's less than an hour, there are challenges where sometimes it can feel like they do too much and they need to slow down and sometimes a little bit of less is more would be helpful. But in general, the show typically is an easier watch for me, a pleasurable watch for me, even if some weeks are better than others. The Caleb Conley versus Ziggy Dice match, television title tournament. And at least I will say, the match has a purpose. These are two guys wrestling to try and advance in that tournament. That said, I don't know why I am really supposed to care about either one of these guys. I actually don't recall having seen Ziggy Dice before, and if I did, it certainly did not create enough of an impression for it to matter. And as far as Caleb Conley, it's interesting. I've seen him several times on the show, but they've never really tried to introduce me to him and what he's about. Maybe this match would have mattered more. And the reality is, is if you're not going to have the characters, the storytelling, then these guys need to do the flippy, kicky stuff. And you got neither of that here. So I don't think it was a particularly effective segment. I thought Thunder Rosa versus ODB was an effective match, an effective segment. These ladies got time. I thought the action was pretty good. You've got somebody that they've invested a little time telling the background of in Thunder Rosa, and we know who ODB is, especially if we're watching NWA Power on YouTube on a Tuesday night. So we don't need a ton of introduction to her. I thought the match worked really, really well. Thunder Rosa wins, as she should. And we'll see what they're building to eventually down the road with her and Allison Kay and so forth. That said, question for you guys. Would you bam ODB? Would you? Would ya? I think more of you begrudgingly would say hells to the yeah than you're ever going to admit publicly. Marcus Smart here, your one true guru for internet wrestling happenings. And I gotta tell ya, if Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson can get in on the scheme gene act, then by God, somebody better. More charismatic, more athletic, and certainly more handsome and less beaten up by Father Time and Matt. That's me, people. Marcus Smart can start his own hotline. So what I want you to do is pick up your mobile devices and call this number, 1-800-DOTH-ELITE. Instead of watching this crappy NWA Power Review, you can sit there and call my hotline for three ninety nine a minute. Because, my God, I gotta find a way to get out of the Schleg Daddy's crawl space and go get my own elite pad. You can call and get the update. What's going on with the villain? Is he gonna return to ROH? Is he going to NWA? Is he going home to AEW? What's gonna happen on the next episode of Dynamite? Why are Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks some of the best, best, best wrestlers in the world? You can get all of that and more. 1-800-DOT-ELITE. Talk to me, Marcus Smart, on my pre-recorded message for three ninety-five a minute. In the tag match with Eli Drake and James Storm versus Colt Cabana, Mr. Anderson, as an example of you've got guys, guys with some name recognition, but it's almost like you've got the guys and you haven't really bothered to figure out what you really want to do with them. And when we're talking especially about Eli Drake, he gets interviews most every week. He's on the show almost every week. He's in matches plenty of weeks. But I yet and still can't figure out what the heck his jam is supposed to be. I don't know. And it feels like Colt's a little bit of a square peg in a round hole here. Maybe that's more so in the way that they feature him. And when you look at Ken Anderson, here's a guy that can talk, has some personality, and I don't particularly feel like they do a very good job of bringing that out and showing that to the audience. I, I don't. I don't. And well, the cowboy James Storm is the cowboy James Storm.
Ain't that right? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the next storm here, baby. And I want to talk to you about the three simple truths. Number one, the Cowboy James Storm is the best wrestler in the NWA. Oh, it is true. It's true. Number two, you can run, but you can hide. But you can't deny, Camille, you want the cowboy all up inside. We gonna pull into that station, my cousin and I. Chugga, 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 chugga. Two, two. Gonna run a train up all on you at a time of your choosing. You can deny it all you want. And number three, most importantly, number three, business before pleasure. While N.W.A. sitting there wasting the Cowboys' time with tag matches with Eli Drake and Cabana and Anderson. Who's booking this crap? They allowing Nick Aldis, the so-called world's champion, to tuck his tail between his legs and run and hide. you going to be worried about the wrong store. You're worried about Ricky Morton. What you should be looking at is the eye of the real storm, the Cowboy James Storm. Because you know if he get another an opportunity, the Cowboy James Storm will go on to become the new NWA World Champion. And when that happens, NWA will saddle up. This business will surely pick up. Woo! Call me Camille. I can hook it up real good. I really like the stuff that they did with Tim Storm. And Nick Aldis this week. I really did. You open up with Tim Storm's interview, and then there's just something inherently likable about the guy. Like, you look at him and say, you know, he strikes you as an old-school, top babyface veteran everybody likes from a lesser territory. That's what he reminds you of a little bit. Whereas you look at Nick Aldis, and he looks and acts and talks and presents himself like you feel a world champion should. And with that studio crowd, he was getting some pretty good heat in his interview. I love it. Then he decides he's going to have an exhibition with Ricky Starks. And you know what? This match had purpose. You know, Aldis is trying to say that he's just having a gentlemanly exhibition and that Ricky Starks can't last all this time. Ricky Starks does last the distance. Then here comes Ricky Morton asking for Ricky Starks to get five more minutes. And all of this builds up and teases up to the friction between Ricky Morton and freaking Nick Aldis to the big reveal at the end when the challenge is being laid. It's going to be Team Aldis versus Team Morton. But he's got a surprise. It's Big Papa Pope! Big Papa Pope is in the NWA! This is fucking incredible. I want interviews every week. I want math lessons. I want lessons on the English language. I want it all! Phenomenal! Like, I almost had a loss of words. I legitimately, because I don't go seeking out spoilers or anything like that, I was legitimately shocked and legitimately popped when I heard the music and saw a Big Papa Pump and what's left of him walking down the ramp in the studio crowd. Big Papa Pumps in NWA. Yeah! Needless to say, you had enough things throughout the night that I liked. Big finish with the big reveal, the big debut. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's still things I think they can iron out with the formatting of the show. There are things that certainly could be better. I could actually stand for a match or two going longer once in a while and involving a little more athleticism. Again, you got to have some balance in your presentation. Well, let me know what you thought of this week's NWA Power. Chime in in the comment section below. And remember, I'm just an angry wrestling man, but the Schleg Daddy here for OTR Central, not the wrestling show you want just the wrestling show you need. And most importantly of all, if you want me to continue to review NWA Power, you watch it, you like it, you comment, you share it, and tell others to subscribe.